Greetings, passive ones. I knew you wouldn't be able to stay away for long. The lure of my dungeon has proved too strong for many from your world to resist, and even now a quest through my ever-changing catacombs is in progress. So here's a progress report. Young Dylan's proved that he is no fool by charming foes and keeping cool. For Lilith helped him on his way, and Olaf's guardian went astray. With letters called, this northern crew soon penetrated level two. With Gretel free and Hansel calm, the goblins left this team unharmed. Then Dylan answered Merlin well, and froze the spears with magic spell. But will he get to level three? Time has turned, so now we'll see. You're in a blue cave. There's a crack in the path in front of you where flames are shooting up every few seconds. Looks like it could be nasty. After that, the path turns to your left. There, there's a safe bit, but it turns to your left again. And then there's another fiery crack to step over. Go forwards a little, Dylan. Stop. Now, when we say go, run forward about three steps. Three steps? Yes. Should I try jumping, maybe? No, just run. Door walk quickly would be fine. Go now. Well done, Dylan. You made it. Turn to your left and walk forwards. What's that on the floor in front of you? Is it a load of bones? It's a whole skeleton. Make sure you don't tread on the poor chap as you walk past. Normally I would applaud your efforts to treat these unfortunate remains with respect, but I think you may find some advantage in taking a second look at our fleshless friend here. Is he holding something in his right hand? Yes. Yes, I think he is. A sidle round to the left a bit, Dylan, and uh, crane your head over a bit. Can you see what the skeleton's holding? I think it's a key. We'll probably need that. Take it, Dylan. I'm not sure I can get it without moving the fingers. Do that, then. Are you sure we really need this key? Well, we can't know for sure either way. But we're gonna look like a right bunch of Charlies if we find a locked door and we've decided not to take it. Come on, Dylan. All we're asking you to do is prize out the guy's cold dead hand. Okay, okay. There. I've got it. Oh. There's a couple of other objects down here too. A candle and a talisman. Take the talisman, you reckon? No, I think the candle might come in handy. Yes, I think the candle too. I'm taking that. Okay, go forward then. Turn to your left. Walk forward. Now, run again when we say. What? Am I at the other crack? Yes. Whoa. Good. Now just keep going forwards and you'll get to the door. There's an apple on the floor here. Pick it up and put it in your knapsack. And then keep going to the door. Where am I? You're in a wood panelled room with two doors on the far wall. It looks like the floor's made of something yellow. It's sand, I think, and there are patches of blood all over it. And there's some kind of monk. Stay where you are, bacon features! Don't even move, you awful brained bus filled dog's bottom! Something as ugly as you shouldn't be allowed around these holes, you pig faced cow brained purifying piece of scum! Mmm, charming. Dear me, team, Cedric the Mad Mug seems to be in a particularly foul mood today. I deny you the right to pass, donkeys. If you want to get out of here alive, you pea brain lily livered miscreant, you'll have to go through me and my trusty quarterstaff. So face me like a man, you illegitimate dung farmer, and accept my challenge. But I don't have a weapon. Oh dear. I suppose you'll be at a disadvantage then, you cowardly dung-eating insect. Prepare to die like the vermin you are, dog's bottom! Quickly, team! Take action now, or Dylan will perish! Cast a spell, Daisy. Spell casting. S-H-O-V-E-L. Ha! 
Uh, a giant spade has appeared in the air above his head, Dylan. What's this? A sorceress check? Why, you cowardly piece of excrement! Brilliant. He's uh, out cold on the floor. Quickly, team. You must dispel or the shovel will turn on Dylan. Dispel. L E V O H S. Capital! That's given Cedric a taste of his own medicine. But I suggest you make haste now if you want to reach level 3 in one piece. Uh, sidestep to your right, Dylan. Uh, walk forwards. Keep going. You're nearly at the door. Where am I? Ah. Um, well, uh... Your guess is as good as ours right now, Dylan. You're standing in total darkness. Try holding up the candle, Dylan. Ah, you're in an orangey cave and there's a wellway in the corner. Quick, get me down there. Uh, we can't yet, Dylan. There's a large golden lock blocking the well. What? Actually in the wellway? Yes, it's a bit weird. I understand your confusion at seeing such an obstacle blocking this particular egress, team. But I think you will find that this spectral keyhole is more than capable of preventing Dylan's descent to level 3. But then again, having travelled this far into the dungeon, you are not about to let something like this flubbox you for long, I hope. Well, we've got the key, so I guess... Walk forwards, Dylan, holding the key out in front of you. What? Like that? That's fine. You should reach the bottom step of the well in a second. Keep holding the key out. Yeah, move your hand up a bit and reach right out with the key. Is the well way clear now? It is indeed. Uh, climb up the steps, Dylan, and get into the well. That's right. Sit on the edge and roll yourself in. Where am I? You're in a dark cavern. There are roots coming through the walls, and it looks like they're bones on the floor. It's pretty spooky. Welcome to level 3, team. Here every step is danger, but speed is still essential. All that has gone before has prepared you for this. I just hope it's prepared you well enough. I think we should get him out of there quickly. Is there anything in the room we should investigate? No, don't. I think you should get out of there. Turn slightly to your right. Walk forwards. Warning team! Cavern whites are endemic on level 3. These carnivorous critters are blind and deaf, but they have an acute sense of smell, and already they have picked up Dylan's scent. Get him out of there quickly, or the whites will surely make a meal of him. Walk forward, Dylan. Quickly. Shall I run? Well, j j just keep going like that. You're almost at the door. Where am I? You're in a large stone room, Dylan, with a table. There's a yellow letter M on it. <laughs> Warning, team. There's a presence here, and it appears malignant. Dylan must reach the table to summon Merlin. So I set you right, Dylan. Walk forwards quickly. Take me to the M. That's what he's doing, Dylan. You're at the table now. You need to sort of reach. Smack your hand down on the table right in front of you, Dylan. Ah, oh, Dylan! Well done! Avaunt the spectre! Well, 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 Dylan. Here you are in level three and still breathing. Quite incredible, I must say. Still, you certainly won't stay that way for long unless I do something about it, so... Spell casting. E. R. G. Well, that takes care of your life force. But there are far greater dangers ahead of you, Dylan, as I'm sure you know. The most formidable of these is Morgana, the Dark Sorceress. 
She has caused a great deal of trouble in the past, here in the dungeon and elsewhere, I can tell you. And now she will stop at nothing to see your quest end in failure. Take heart, though. She is undoubtedly difficult to defeat, but not, of course, impossible. As a reward for your progress, I gift you the spell Blast. Don't go thinking this will defeat Morgana for you, because it won't. <laughs> However, I think you'll find it useful once you've located the object of your quest, assuming that you're still alive by that point, of course. Step bravely and swiftly now, Dylan. It is a short path, but a dangerous one. Have you got that spell written down? Blast. Uh, yes, Dylan, we have. Heed Merlin's words, team. Make haste, lest you give unpleasant things time to foregather. Sidestep to your left, Dylan. One more. You're in line with the door now. Walk forwards, quickly. Where am I? I don't move, Dylan. You're on a very thin ledge. It's incredibly winding and narrow. How are we going to get him across that? Carefully. I think you should guide him, Josh. Okay. Dylan, take a small step. Hold still for now, Dylan. I sense a power in this place, and I'm not at all sure that it's pleasant. Welcome, Dylan. Welcome to my kingdom. Oh dear, it really is pathetic the way you mortals insist on blundering blindly into my realm, and then expect to be allowed to leave alive. I wonder what makes you think that you are any different from the pitiful hundreds that have tried and failed before you, Dylan. Do you think I should say anything, Josh? I'm not sure. You think she wants an answer to that, Dylan? I don't know. Maybe I should cast the spell. No, that's Morgana, isn't it? Merlin said we shouldn't use the spell against her. So what shall I do, guys? Maybe we should just wait and- The simple truth is that you are no different, Dylan, as will soon become clear to all. For now, though, let's just see how cool and calm you are. Or not, as the case may be. <laughs> Quickly, guys. Get me out of here. Are you sure we can get him across that? Maybe we should- Make all haste to the exit now, team, or Dylan will surely perish! Walk forward, Dylan, uh, very slowly. Keep going. Are you sure I'm not going to fall? Yes! Another step. Okay, now turn to your right. A little more. Walk forwards. Are you totally sure I'm- Walk, Walk forward. forward! Okay, stop. Turn left a bit. No, no, a bit back to the right. The sword's nearly- <laughs> Where? Turn a bit to the right first. Go forward! Are you sure I should? Yes! Quick yes! Dylan! No! Not that! Ah. <laughs> Ooh! Nasty! Well, team, I don't think Dylan survived that fall. At least, not in the context of our little game. When you meet up with him again, you might like to explain to our friend Dylan that teamwork can only be effective when trust is present between teammates. But perhaps you were planning on doing that already. Spell casting. D I S M I S S. Farewell then, Dylan, Josh, Daisy, and Carl. You did very well to reach level three, but in the end, you were riding for a fall. 
The welcoming embrace of Carlisle awaits you now, while the less welcoming embrace of my dungeon awaits another band of foolish ones. So, enter, stranger. Who challenges my dungeon? Abdul Chidambaram. Welcome, Abdul. I hope you know what you're doing by coming here, and I hope you've brought three friends to aid you. If you have, call them to us now. Claire, Simon, Heather. Greetings! Who guides this dungeon here? Claire Hall. Simon Jones. Heather Taylor. And where do you all come from, Abdul? From Chester. Very well. Your challenge is accepted. Abdul, here is the Helmet of Justice, which blinds you to the way ahead. Here the knapsack for food to feed your life force. Two objects may you carry at any one time, and remember, the only way is onwards. There is no turning back. Turn now, Abdul. Face the dungeon door, and step Boldly forwards. Where am I? You're in a bluish room with lots of playing cards. Yeah, playing cards on the walls and floor. There's a ten of hearts to your right, a nine of clubs to your left, and then on the back wall, from left to right, there's a jack of diamonds, a queen of spades, and an ace of hearts. And on the floor in front of you, there's a card with a diamond, a spade, and a heart on it. And there's a jester in the middle of the room. He's dressed in red and green. Well, well, well. What a strange hand I've been dealt. And what's this? A bold dungeoneer thrown into the mix? Or is the dungeon just causing a fix? Hello, dungeoneer. Have you come to play my game? Oh, do stop prattling, Folly, and get on with it. We haven't got all day, you know. Whatever you stay, O oh, esteemed dungeon master. Let's just hope our young friend can be safe from disaster. Listen carefully, O oh horned one. If you've come to play my game, I best let you in on the rules. But first, we both should give our name, or we'll just end up looking like fools. Folly is my name, and foolishness my nature. Confusion is my character, and fun my almanator. <laughs> now, what are you called? Abdul. Well, Abdul, here are the rules of my game. As you can see, or perhaps you can't, it's a card game, and you must pick one card to play, but which is correct. Just remember, to win this hand, you must play the highest card you have, and I think it's worth bearing in mind that the ace is low in this game. And now, I've said all I can say, so I'll be going on my way. Bye! What do we do now? He says we have to pick a card. Come on, team, you've had your clue, so make your choice and exit quickly. He said we have to pick the highest card, and the highest card in the room is the Ace of Hearts. No, because he said the Ace is low in this game, so the highest card must be the Queen of Spades. Are you sure? Yes, she's right. We should go for the Queen. Side step left, Abdo. Walk forwards. That door is locked, team. Take the right step to open it. Maybe if we tread on the spade on the floor. Okay, sidestep right, Abdul. Again. Again. The Queen of Spades has gone now, Abdul, and there's a door in the back wall. Sidestep left, Abdul. Again. Again. Walk forwards. Where am I? Um, you're in the grey room. There's a table a few steps away from you. Walk over to it. Take two side steps right. Walk forwards until you see the table. Tell us what's on there. There's a key, a gauntlet, a purse of silver, and a grapefruit. Put the grapefruit in your knapsack. Okay. Warning, team! 
level one clues are invariably guarded by wall monsters. Touch nothing more, Abdul. Oh no, Abdul, don't bother taking the grapefruit out again. Oh god. I am Graditas of legend. My name is not amusing. Nothing about me is amusing. Hold your hand, intruder. Three times I will demand truth. Three times may you answer. Fail three times and I feed on you. Here is my first. I hold you up, but I can't stand without a muscly helping hand. You're dead and buried underground, and yet for years I'll hang around. What am I? I didn't understand a word of that. Something about holding you up, but only when it's in your hand. What about a walking stick? It could be. One riddle, one answer. Name it now. Say walking stick, Abdul. Walking stick. Falsehood! Skeleton was the truth I sought. Here is my second. I move around a burning ball. I've no support, but never fall. One half is dark, the other's light, as one full turn makes day and night. What am I? What about the moon? It could be. Do you think so? Well, have you got a better answer? No, the only answers I can think of are completely stupid. Okay, Abdul, say the moon then. The moon. Falsehood! A planet was the truth I sought. Or even Earth would have done, you puny ignoramus. You have only one more chance to answer me with truth, or you shall be ground between my jaws of stone. Here is my third. I'm good and true. I'm bold and brave. I'll save a damsel from a knave. I'll slay a fiend, defend the weak. The truth alone is what I speak. What am I? Oh, that must be a knight. Are you sure? We'll die if we get this wrong. Yeah, but that has to be the right answer, doesn't it, guys? Ask it again, just to be sure. Do you repeat it, please? Once only, I will repeat. I'm good and true, I'm bold and brave. I'll save a damsel from a knave. I'll slay a fiend, defend the weak. The truth alone is what I speak. Yes, say night, Abdul. Night. Truth accepted. One alone is the score. Your quest is for the crown, yet you may not rule. All other knowledge is denied you. <laughs> well, take that food, whatever you do, and then make your choice, team. Put the grapefruit in your knacks up, Abdel. Yeah, and keep it there this time. What object shall I take? Well, I think the key will be useful. Yes, and the gauntlet. Okay, I've got those two. Okay, Abdul, sidestep to your right. Again? Again? Walk forwards. Turn a quarter to your right. Walk forwards. Where am I? You're in a small, yellowish room. There's a bomb! Yes, but the fuse didn't lit yet. There's a door to your left, and it seems to be locked, so... I think we should get out of there quickly. Hurry up to run! Turn the quad to your left, Abdul. 
has got the key ready? Yes, Claire. Hold it up in front of you. Explosion imminent team, hurry! Quick, run forwards! Where am I? You're on a rocky ledge and there's a- HALT! And where do you think you're going? Intruder alert level one! Gumboil the diligent guards the way! The password! Intruder! Or you perish! What do I say? We haven't got the password! Maybe we should try braving him with the gauntlet. I don't think that'll work. He's already got two of them. But I suppose there's nothing else to try, so you better go for it, Abdo. I'll give you this gauntlet if you let me through. What? What? And what makes you think that Gumboil the Incorruptible is susceptible to bribery, eh? I have never been so insulted. Mind you, strictly off the record, I have been known to turn a blind eye to intruders now and then, but certainly not in exchange for rusty, useless old knickknacks like that! Oh dear. Time has deserted us once more, so I am afraid that you, passive ones, must slip back to your own world and await the next phase shift. Join me again soon for Nightmare. It's the stuff the dreams are made of. <laughs> 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 <laughs>